Hello Internet. Watashi wa Anonymous. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Sushi Bites. In Japan, people who perform in novelty costumes are called Kigurumi, from Kiru to wear, and Nuigurumi, stuffed toy. Kigurumi is definitely super popular, so popular that, well, even I have an authentic monkey Kigurumi outfit. But Kigurumi is one thing, anime agayo is another. A very weird extension of Kigurumi. A stylized anime mask plus an outfit are one, which turns the wearer into a terrifyingly uncanny anime person. Creepy as hell, even for a lot of Japanese people. I've been toying with doing a sushi bites, poking fun at and drawing attention to the weird world of anime Gaio for a very long time, but only now have I found a valid reason. Minami Momochi. Very, very funny! Because with Momochi chan, it's a very different story, at least for me. Thanks to stream regular Sushi Sunshine 2000, I've been introduced to Minami Momochi, the self proclaimed world's first anime chic idol. I guess there's a first time for everything. I'm confused. Slightly bewildered by Minami Momochi. I will introduce her because the hilarious video where she attempts to introduce herself in English is pretty much unintelligible, but it's also freaking adorable. And sometimes I sing a song and play Otage. Otage, okay. The best place to go to learn all about Momochi is Vice Japan's interview, which, like most videos on their channel, has fully English closed captions. This video is absolutely worth a watch, so I'm only going to show you a little bit. In this video, Momochi Chan shows us the breadth of her delusion, I mean, the breadth of her intense method acting, claiming to have looked like an anime since she was born. Ha, right, okay. But there's a few highlights. Minami streams live on Nico Nico with guests and all sorts of surprises. Minami also works as a representative for Anime Street as a shopping complex, helping visitors find their way around the stores and stalls. She does what she likes on stream, but always wants her viewers to be happy and feel entertained. I can really relate to that. I just wonder how she stays cool under that mask. I reckon she lives in a freezer. Not that kind of freezer. Minami Momochi's bio can be found on the Akihibara Backstage Pass wiki. Her hobbies include music, DJing anime songs, makes sense, she is an anime, dancing, sounds like my kind of lady, favorite foods, fairies. Am I missing something, or is this a tattily normal thing in Japan? Do you get it? The fairy in Majora's Mask is called Tattle. Please like, subscribe, comment. Favorite game, Hatsune Miku Project Mirai. Good taste, girl. Favorite type, people like Ishikawa Ryo. Ah, well, I'll never be a professional golfer, so I'll never win Momochi Chan's heart. Such an adorable, creepy golfer guy. How can you say no to that face? No. In 2014, Momochi's short run of sci-fi light novels starring hers truly was successfully kickstarted, it seems, according to Crunchyroll. She has multiple YouTube channels, creates content for adults and children, and wants to star in her own anime about acceptance and understanding. Oh, I get the theme here. Apparently, she commentates on professional wrestling matches. Momochi sings her own songs, and there's even a wonderful 3D animated version of her breakthrough hit, Where? Here? Mochi! Can you dance along? But it's weird to see her face animating after all the still expressionless, wide open, gaping mouthed, derpy staring we've seen. 
The lyrics in this song are fairly basic, but the comments about bubbling over everywhere, rolling down the stairway to maturity, I'm, I'm not sure how to read that. Sweating, whimpering, bubbling up. It sounds like how my first day ended up. I wasn't expecting her to turn into an alien, it spoiled the whole evening. She also committed a sin and produced Let's Play videos of Mario Kart 8. Pro tip, Mochi, turn off those horrid motion controls. The high-pitched gibbering she makes is equally as annoying as it is absolutely adorable. I think there is really a lot of Mochi-chan's personality that is only brought out because she exists as a character. Momochi does a lot of things, and has done a lot of things in such a short amount of time. I'm put to shame and impressed. I don't want to go into psychology, especially because I could easily get it very wrong. But when I see Momochi, I see someone who has overcome many hardships and finally found that groove where they are happy. And everybody else is happy. I find Anime Gaio as terrifying as the next person, but Minami embraces it to a whole new level of cute weirdness. Don't fall for it, Mochi, the crane game is rigged. <laughs> In the end, another girl has to win the yokai for her. She, she just doesn't shut up, it's, it's just too cute. <laughs> I'll win all the UFO catchers for you, Momochi-chan. The tongue twister videos are great too. Mochi stumbles over Japanese phrases and it's just too fucking adorable. <laughs> Even the cameraman is laughing. These tongue twisters get harder. It's really funny when she hits herself in anger or she squeals with joy upon successfully saying one. I fawned over Mochi-chan enough this episode, but Momochi has since paved way for other anime Gaio idols. Now we know there's a market for this kind of thing. Anime Gaio idols will grow and grow. So the obvious next step is to get myself a full anime girl costume and become an anime Gaio idol myself. Actually, no, forget that idea. What a terrible fucking idea. This has been Sushi Bites. Thank you for watching. Wow, so was this just like me being creepy for like 10 minutes? <laughs>